So when you are finished with your projects, you need to submit them. And one of the big things I want you to do is submit a photo of your project and put it on, um, in line in the text box. In the text box, you can add comments, which I would like you to do. And I would also like you to uh, dra drag and drop one photo of each project. And I'll always have that kind of listed of how uh, I want those, those photos, if I want two or three pictures or just one. Uh, but the, the main thing that I want you to get out of that is how to take a proper photo of your work. Okay? And so earlier today, I, I had a student that went to submit a piece and they had their bowl on their shelf and it was half, halfway wrapped up in plastic and just was not a very quality photograph. And what we want to do is we want to eliminate all the garbage, okay? So if you submitted this, this would be a lousy photo. The background, the, the stuff that's on the table, all that really distorts from the actual piece. And so we, we're looking for kind of photo uh, magazine cover type stuff, okay? Now, if we look at the object, you need you're, you're going to try to you have to encapsulate this object in one photo. And so the rim of this split rim bowl is very interesting. Okay, and so that's a, a thing that you want to probably try to get if you can. The foot is also something that that has taken a little extra detail, and so that's another thing that we want. Okay, um, I would probably suggest that you take this in the drawing room and use one of the spotlights okay, that we have. Uh, we're getting some new LED spotlights. Okay. Um, and those throw off a much better light than just the standard spotlight. Um, and so we really want to kind of set that up um, with your room and on a clear table. Okay? Once you have that, kind of work, get the light source so it's on the table and so that it works well. And then f try to find the best angle of your, your, your pot. Okay? This would be a decent angle to show the foot, but it does nothing to encapsulate the rim. Okay? And so uh, then we have to look at, at a different angle. Okay? Here's, here's an angle that, that works pretty nice uh, to show the, the rim, but doesn't show anything as far as the, the, the form of the pot um, and the sides of the walls. Okay? Also, now i got the camera shadow in my pot, so we've got to work on not having the camera shadow as well. So you want to kind of find that happy angle, okay? somewhere like, like here, where I have the foot and the rim, um, and I can kind of make that whole thing work. Okay? I still want to try to eliminate the background. Okay? So the back wall, someone's bag across the room, I want to try to eliminate that. So I might have to pull this to the edge of the table and then come back and find that angle as best that I can. And if I can hopefully get rid of most of the background, I'm fine with that. You're not going to make it perfect right now. When we have finished work, uh, that might be something that, that we actually get the, the drop cloth that has a gradient background, kind of like you'd have for a, a portrait. Um, and set that up for your work. Um, but right now, I really would like to have a, a, a avoidance of as much background as we can. Um, not always are going to take it at the same angle. Again, we want to show this piece off as much as we can. You might have a tall bottle, and you want to show the, the height of that bottle. And so you might actually come from below the table, even, and, and show it looking upwards. Okay, now I'm looking out the windows here, and so that's not very good for lighting, okay, but it does give it a more dramatic effect looking up. And so if I didn't have a split rim, that might be a, a good angle to show it from. So you, I really want you to consider angle, light source, shadows, and, and background uh, stuff uh, all within your picture. And take that one picture to best encapsulate the form of your piece.